The Revolution is the flagship of the Little Giant Ladder family, with its proprietary aluminum making it the lightest multi-purpose ladder found anywhere in the world, to its new mag hinges, to its rock locks. You will not find a finer ladder anywhere. Now, the great thing about it, the Revolution, is it's simple to use. There's only two things that make the entire system work. The hinges at the top control the shape from storage to step ladder to straight open as an extension. Second, the rock locks adjust the height up and down in one foot increments. This is how simple it is. You put your palm on these palm buttons, wrap your fingers around and just squeeze them in. It unlocks the hinge. Now when I open that up, you're going to notice those hinges are going to pop into place by themselves. And again, always make sure they're fully seated. Now with the rock locks, we just push at the bottom. That releases them so you can adjust this ladder. Now this is how simple it really is. Grab the palm button that's closest to you and just tip it. As you tip it this direction, the outer slides down. You can put it in this hole, this one, this one, and finally the last one is right there. Now to tip it back up this way, this is the last hole. Let it slide right into there. Make sure your rock locks are fully seated. Now, when you need to work on something where the ground's not perfectly flat, remember that's where the claim to fame of the little giant really is. Set that ladder just like this by adjusting the rock locks for ramps, sloping ground, and the big one. Lock these in place, and you can work on a staircase all day long. Change light bulbs, paint, put up pictures on stairs, but now you're doing it safely. Now, the feature that I love the most is this. When you need to work on something that's really close, a wall or window, and you're climbing up a normal ladder, the higher you go up, the further away from the wall you get. But watch this with the revolution. Drop it down, make it lock in place at a 90 degree angle, come up on this side, now you're fitting those tight, hard to reach spots. But just always make sure it's a good solid wall that you're leaning that up against. Now, when you need to go up a little higher, release the mag four hinge at the top, Grab it in the middle here, tip it straight up, it locks into place. You want to make sure those hinges are all set. Now from this point, you're going to watch as I grab it lower here, my left hand is going to hold it in place. Just keep doing that till you get it up to the height that you'd like. When it is, pop those rock locks in. I have a Model 17 here that I'm demonstrating, but it's 15 feet tip to tip, and when I'm up working, I can actually reach 17 feet. Always make sure you have the wheels at the top, Wide flares, rubber feet at the bottom prevents it from slipping. Now when I need to bring it back down, just push the rock locks in, stop it anywhere along the way, push these mag four hinges in, grab it as high as you can, and then slowly tip it right down in front of you. Release these rock locks, slide it right back up, push these mag four hinges in one more time, and I'm right back at storage. So, if I want to take the Revolution and really take advantage of the full time-saving scaffolding, this is how you do it. You push these mag four hinges in, release the rock locks, and hand over hand, pull the intersection all the way out. It has its own rubber feet on the bottom. I take these, lean it against the ladder, and grab the trestle brackets that come with the Revolution. They slide right in here like this. You pop them in. They lock in with the rock locks. You do exactly the same on this side. In less than 10 seconds, you have 1,000 pound scaffolding. You can run a plank between that, get your jobs done in literally half the time. Now, when you get ready to put it back together, there is an easy way to do it. You release the rock locks, take out the trestle brackets, and just lean this right up against the ladder. Set these back on a shelf. Line these up so they're right together. Grab your intersection, slide it right back down like this. And this way is, if you're used to working with a little giant, that's an easy way to do it. But let me show you the absolute best and easiest way to do it. Take one half at a time, lean the other one up against something, and all you're going to do is just tip it and slide this right in. Do the exact same thing on this side. Push these rock locks back in, push your mag four hinges in, and you're right back to where you started. You will not find a finer ladder made anywhere in the world than a revolution by Little Giant.